Hi, I want to show you some of the biggest sources of problems in a bathroom and most of it surrounds this bathtub or any bathtub for that matter. And it starts with construction. If the installers don't double check and level the tub and recheck it on the level, then you're going to have problems. Here I've got a level and the key to using a level is, is it's got two little lines in it with a fluid and an air bubble in the middle. And that bubble needs to be perfectly balanced between these two lines. And that way you'll know that it's level. This tub is very close to being level, but you can't just check this, the front or one side of the tub. You've got to check all the sides of the tub, the back of the tub make sure that this is level you've got to make sure that it's level and the other thing it's like picture framing in picture framing before you cut to measure it twice before you cut it because once you cut it that's it with a bathtub you've got to level it a couple of times one when you first put it in and again before you put the tiles on yeah, um, because if it's not level at the beginning, everything else will be off because the tiles are based on how the tub is placed. One other thing that you should do is get yourself a square. Check to see that the walls and the tub is square. It'll give you a good idea, maybe on this end. See if the tiles on the wall are square. This one isn't. You can see it's rocking a bit. It's got an air space at the top. If this face is level and this face is level, chances are the back will also be level. If you have to shim it, always make sure you shim it with something that's solid, not like particle board or a soft wood. And when I say shim, I mean if you have to inch the tub up underneath here, there's generally a support and you you want to put shims on top of the support to bring the tub up and so you want to make sure that those are a nice hardwood that won't compress or other material that won't compress and change before you put the grout on it's always recommended that you fill the tub with water and put the weight on it it'll sink down as far as it's gonna go so you fill it with water it sinks down then you put your grout in and fill it that way the grout won't break apart once you do put the water in it and sit at it and put the weight on and stretch it out yeah so that's about about all I wanted to point out to you is about bathtubs because I've got friends with bathtubs. Some they tilt this way. My friend has a houseboat and it lists slightly. So with his bathtub, it tilts toward the front. And since water always runs downhill, water that gets on the top edge here just flows over. But fortunately, he's got one of my splash guards to stop it and bring the water back. On our website, we've got a picture of a house that I worked on where the tub was sloped to the back and it was off by a half to three quarters of an inch. The water just pulled down in this corner and uh, we had to go in and shim it and raise it up so that it would be level again. And the reason it happened was because the workers were in such a hurry to get paid and get off the job site that they didn't bother to check it before they set it in there and set everything in place. So that's the most critical part.